guys, it's your girl Brandy, aka Brandy4. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to talk about two great shows and two great iconic characters. The two shows being Euphoria that is now streaming on HBO Max and is on HBO and Degrassi The Next Generation that used to be on T Nick in the US. And they're actually coming out with a reboot next year i believe and all episodes of degrassi the next generation will be streaming on hbo starting march 25th which i'm super excited about don't get me wrong youtube has been doing what it needs to do but also i'm like i kind of want to watch it on my tv so yes very very lit and i'm very excited about that i've been seeing a lot of discourse on twitter about these two shows especially euphoria and i've also been seeing a lot of comparisons between euphoria's maddie perez and degrassi the next generation's manny santos basically a lot of people have been saying euphoria is degrassi with an hbo budget which i can see why people are saying that however i'm kind of like mm, they are similar, but they also have lots and lots of differences. Please don't mind the sun. I'm just trying to do a uh, natural lighting. Actually, let me fix the lighting real quick. My bad, my bad, yo. I forgot the ring light wasn't on. There's just random sun in my eye. The sun is setting, guys. So yes, guys, please excuse the lighting because the sun is setting and it's ruining the vibe, but it's okay. So let's get into this conversation real quick. So Euphoria and Degrassi, the next generation, they're pretty similar in that both Euphoria and Degrassi have unique takes on tackling topics relatable to young people, whether it's addiction, violence, or peer pressure. However, they're both quite different in that Degrassi was to millennials what Euphoria is to Gen Zs now. Also, in terms of cinematography and the overall vibe of the show, Degrassi is more simplistic and authentic the show runs for 30 minutes and each episode focuses on a specific character and an issue that they're going through, which is almost always something that a high school student may be going through currently. Very relatable. I think the show also does a good job of not over romanticizing storylines and characters, being over dramatic, or even giving a character an unrealistic or happy ending. Euphoria, however, is pretty over the top in terms of cinematography as the creator, Sam Levinson, he wanted to focus more on the cinematography rather than just the storyline. Season one, for instance, I feel as though it gives more like a party feel, more party visuals. You see a lot of purple and like dark purple everywhere. Season two is more of a yellowy kind of feel, kind of old looking feel. And I believe it was supposed to be or is filmed on a film camera. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then this type of cinematography, in my opinion, it kind of like makes the show more elongated and appear more over the top and more dramatic, especially as there's less dialogue and there's more of a focus on the art of the show rather than like what the characters are actually telling us or showing us. And especially since there is less dialogue, it gives you more perspectives on each character and each storyline versus Degrassi. They're pretty direct when it comes to each storyline. So it's like, you can interpret a lot, but also it's like Degrassi's kind of just there. They're like, okay, this is what happened. This is what's going to happen. Euphoria, you can interpret it in many different ways because there's lack of dialogue. That being said, let's talk about Manny and Maddie. I wanted to talk about the comparisons between Manny Santos, who's played by the beloved Cassie Steele, who is my favorite singer. Just saying, she has great music, check it out. And Maddie Perez, who's played by Alexa Demi, who is just all types of fine. And Alexa Demi, she's like one of those mysterious celebrities. Like you just don't know like what she's all about, but she's just cool. You just know she's cool. So even though Manny and Maddie aren't like the main characters of their shows, they're easily like, they give main character syndrome. They are main character energy, period. When it comes to Degrassi, I think about Manny Santos. Not because Cassie Steele is my favorite singer, but I think about Manny Santos. <laughs> Manny Santos is just a vibe. She's lit. Maddie Perez as well in Euphoria. I'm sorry, but the looks she gives, the attitude she gives is top. It's top tier. They are just great characters, period. Yeah, obviously a lot of people compare the two because for one, they both have dark hair. 
both have dimples and are just both extremely attractive. They're very good looking girls. <laughs> but yeah, and let's not forget the fact that Drake is an executive producer. So also probably why he named Maddie Perez, Maddie Perez to, you know, kind of reflect on Manny Santos because they literally both look the same. They look like their sisters, bro. Drake knew what he was doing. But the fashion sense is what really gets us to be like, okay, yeah, they are quite similar because they both have impeccable fashion sense. Not that they dress similar at all, especially since, you know, Manny Santos, her time was back in the 2000s where 2000s style wasn't all that great. Meanwhile, Maddie, she is dressing more, you know, current and she has more simplistic look. But the similarities between the two is that they both take risks with their fashion choices. Their fashion is also just unique to their character, which is why it's very iconic. You can literally go as Manny or Maddie for Halloween. Like I could wear a bedazzled thong, people would be like, oh, you're Manny Santos. Manny shows more skin. She's always wearing like low ride jeans. I don't know how she pulled that off, child. I can't pull that off. My love handles would be like, absolutely not. She wears a lot of pink as well. And she's always changing up her hair. Don't get me wrong, I did not like her hair from seasons like five to seven, to be honest. I loved her hair in season three though. Season four, it was given as well. But yeah, season five, season seven, I don't know why she did that to herself. I don't know why they did, I don't know why they did that to her. That was messed up. But otherwise, loved her style. Maddie, on the other hand, is always impeccably dressed. She's sexy but chic. She's very simple with her look. And her hair is always laid. It's always laid. Besides their fashion sense, they're both unapologetically blunt and loves attention any way they can get it. They're both on the chair team, which I've noticed. And they both overall do things to get the attention of boys, especially toxic boys. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> <laughs> both very toxic men and for some reason they're drawn to these toxic men who clearly like don't care about them as much as they care about them yeah it's just hot mess and also both of them will knock a hoe out if they need to be knocked out yo the fight between manny versus Paige, and you know maddie and cassie maddie and Ca maddie maddie when she heard that cassie was effing nate No one wants that smoke. The main similarity between the two is that they both put on a tough exterior, but deep down they definitely want to be loved, which is why they seek attention any way possible. Also why they are always in toxic relationships. So yeah, those are like the main similarities between the two, which are a good amount of similarities. That being said, they have a lot of differences and I kind of want to go through those as well. Manny is 10 times more boy thirsty than maddie that's like a fact that's a given fact she literally changed her entire persona and the way she dresses in season three for the sake of wanting attention from guys <laughs> so from season three to season five of degrassi next generation she isn't really her true authentic self but because of her attention seeking and boy obsessed ways she went through a lot of stuff such as abortion and also the entire school deeming her a slut. Maddie, on the other hand, she seeks attention mainly from Nate, um, aka the worst character to ever hit my TV screen. He's actually a terrible person. The character is so awful that I don't even like the actor. I don't even know. I literally don't like the actor because I hate Nate so much. That's how you know. That's how you know you're a bad character. While Nate is catfishing Jules and basically falling in love with her, in the meantime Maddie is trying to make Nate feel jealous. And then when they get back together and even knowing the fact that Nate is gay, she still like yearns for his attention. He still, She still does everything to gain his attention. Despite the fact that he is an abusive person and they had an abusive relationship overall. However, unlike Manny, she doesn't change her appearance to uh, get the attention of Nate and doesn't change like her overall personality like Manny did for basically Craig um which I just you know you're in high school so very impressionable but still could it be me if anything I would honestly say Manny is more like Cassie 
or Cassie is more like Manny rather than Maddie being more like Manny. Especially since they both hooked up with their friend's exes. And just like Manny, Cassie changes her parents and her persona to try to please men, aka Nate. <laughs> like, hello? Like, that's like the main comparison. They're so much alike. Also, they're both deemed sluts from both men and women. So it's like they're actually more similar than I would say Maddie. Even though, yes, Manny and Maddie, they look alike, I wouldn't say that their characters are alike. That being said, I wanted to talk about who I prefer, Manny or Maddie. That's a hard one. That's a hard one because I ain't gonna hold you. Manny really pissed me off from season three to season... I liked her in season five, actually, yeah. Season three and four, she was really annoying. She was definitely... She was an attention seeker. She did everything for Craig. Actually, yeah, even for season six as well. Her life revolved around men, but then by season seven, she kind of grew up and I loved that you can tell that her character developed extremely well and she learned from all of those silly mistakes from doing everything she could to get attention from boys, you know? Maddie, on the other hand, I feel like her character isn't fully developed. I can't really say that I love her character. Don't get me wrong. I love how she stands up for herself. But still, she also doesn't have enough self-respect for her to still want Nate Jacobs, who physically and emotionally abused her. So I can't really be like, oh, she's stronger than Manny because that's not true at all. But she does put a tougher exterior than Manny. However, I feel like Maddie is a lot sweeter than Manny, especially in the sense of having her friends back more than Manny had her friends mm -hmm. back. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that being said, I'm sorry y'all, I'm gonna have to go with Manny Santos. I gotta go with Manny Santos because I still, I feel like Maddie's character still needs a lot more developing, but we only have two seasons so far, so it makes perfect sense. But also, yeah, it's just like Manny Santos is too iconic. I can't like, I can't not love her character. She's my favorite character. She's low-key the reason why I kind of felt like I could do a hot girl thing when I was in like eighth grade. I mean, it never happened. Like I never like turned hot, but you know, she low-key made me feel like I could. <laughs> and also, yeah, Cassie Steele just lit. So check out her music if y'all don't know. Y'all sleeping on Cassie Steele. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, I actually had fun making this video because I like Degrassi a lot and I'm enjoying Euphoria so far. And yeah, probably going to do a video on the finale episode. So make sure you tune into that if I haven't posted it already. I don't know when I'm posting this video. But yes, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to Go Brandy 4 for more content.